Widespread recovery efforts are currently underway in the wake of Hurricane Helen's devastating impacts. Preliminary reports indicate that over 100 lives have been lost across six states due to the storm. Asheville, North Carolina, experienced historic water level rises, and as of today, widespread power outages continue, leaving hundreds of thousands without electricity in multiple states. In addition to the destruction in North Carolina, storm-related fatalities have also been reported in South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and Florida. A shocking video from the Chimney Rock area highlights the severity of the flooding. Tariq Scott Bukhari shared on X, I went to help in the Lake Lure Chimney Rock area today, and it's hard to describe. I've never seen anything like this. It's post-apocalyptic. It's overwhelming. It's hard to even fathom what recovery will look like or where to start. A monumental effort will be required and all levels of support will be needed. Michael Ion also posted on X, sharing devastating before and after images from Chimney Rock on Highway 9, stating, Chimney Rock, North Carolina, has been obliterated by flash flooding from the remnants of Hurricane Helen. Numerous country artists have spoken out about the storm's impact on Western North Carolina, East Tennessee, and the surrounding regions. Morgan Wallen announced a donation of over $500,000 to the Red Cross to assist with recovery efforts. He stated that while his family is safe in East Tennessee, he understands the devastation many are facing. All my prayers are with those affected tonight. Those hills and haulers mean a lot to me. It's going to take a monumental effort, and I'm in touch with my team to explore ways to help, he wrote. The Morgan Wallen Foundation has made this significant contribution to aid recovery efforts. Trevor Regan, the National President for Humanitarian Services at the Red Cross, expressed gratitude for Wallen's generous donation, stating, We can't thank Morgan Wallen enough for his heart and $500,000 donation to support recovery efforts in areas affected by Hurricane Helen, including beloved East Tennessee. Luke Combs also commented, saying he is absolutely heartbroken for those impacted by the storm, especially in Western North Carolina. He mentioned that he and his team are working on something special to assist the Carolinas, promising more details soon. Eric Church released a statement expressing his devastation over the destruction in Western North Carolina, noting, These are our family members, friends, and neighbors. The community we live in is in dire need of help. Many are still stranded and desperate for rescue. North Carolina, particularly this mountainous area, means so much to me personally and creatively. While we're assessing the extent of the damage, our focus remains on helping those in need. Due to the ongoing crisis, the Sirius XM Outsiders radio show live event at Chief, originally scheduled for September 30th, has been postponed to November 19th. For those wondering how to help, the Red Cross is actively working on the ground. To all the families and first responders affected, you are in our prayers. We are doing everything we can to assist you during this difficult time. If you'd like to help, please visit redcross.org.